hello everyone and welcome back to this channel in these videos i will show you how to integrate google admark and google play services in your application this is the game which we have recreated on this channel and if you want to know how to create this game you can find the link in the top right corner and if you want to learn more about game development you can watch other videos on this channel in this video i will show you how to integrate google play services and in the next video i will show you how to integrate google ad map so without delay let's start the video first you have to switch the platform to android click on file build setting android and switch platform to use google play services in your application you have to download the package you have to go to github you will get the link from the description and you have to click on clone or download you have to download the zip file from here after downloading the zip file you can go to the current build folder and inside the folder you will get the package which is released recently by the google and to use google play services you have to import it in your application so let's import the package we have to import the whole package click on import now it will take some time to use google play services you should have the google play console account you will get this link from the description and after opening the google play console account you have to click on game services then add new game you need to write the name of your application i will write youtube test here and you have to select the category i will choose educational and after this you need to click on continue you can write the description here and if you want to save games you can change it to on save it now click on leaderboard on the left hand side add leaderboard you need to write the name of the leaderboard i will write high score i want the value to be numeric now click save now if you want to add achievement in your application you can click on achievement now add achievement now you have to write the name of the achievement i will write high score achievement here hit on save now click on testing on the left hand side inside this you have to write that id from which you have to test this application now click on add and after this you need to click on linked app i am creating an android application so i will click on android inside the package name you have to write the package name go to unity you will get this dialog box hit okay now click on enable now the google play services is successfully imported in our application you can right click on any folder go on play services resolver android resolver then resolve Now after this we have to make some changes in the publishing setting go on file build setting then player setting now in the right hand side you will see other setting and inside this you have to change the package name i will write com.youtube.test and i will change the install location to force internal now inside the publishing setting we have to create a new key i will click on create a new key and i will click on browse key store now we have to save the file in our computer i will create a new folder for that and i will name it google key i will save this file inside this folder now enter the password and you have to remember this password now click on unsigned key and create a new key inside this box you have to fill the alias name password you have to confirm your password you need to write the first and last name and organizational unit I will fill this quickly. After this, you need to click on Create Key. Now select the key which you have just created and enter the password. Now this step is completed. Now we have to open the command prompt and inside this we have to write a command. I will provide this command in the description. Now inside this double quotes, you have to write the destination of the key store file. I will go in that folder where I have saved the Google key. Open this folder. I will copy the destination using control C and I will paste it inside this using the right mouse button. Now we have to write the file name as well. I will copy the file name and paste it inside this press enter. Now we have to enter the password press enter. We need this line of code in the Google Play console. Now open the Google Play console. Inside the package name we have to enter the package name and copy the package name from the other settings and i will paste it here i will click on save and continue now we have to paste the certificate here open cmd 
select it using the left mouse button and press enter to copy the text i will paste it using ctrl v click on confirm now this process is also completed now click on leaderboard get resources we need to select and copy this text and paste it in unity now switch to unity go on window google play services setup android setup paste it here using ctrl v now click on setup hit okay now our google play services is successfully integrated in our application now we have to write this script to use the google play services i have already created a package for this you will get the link of this package in the description open this package in unity and click on import inside this package you will find two script let's open gpgs script in editor now we have to uncomment this code to uncomment the code press ctrl a ctrl k and ctrl u this will uncomment the code save it let's go to the script once i have created a point variable which is of n type i have also created a text variable i have created two variable one is leaderboard and other is achievement we will provide these value in the inspector and inside the start we initialize the google play services and in the login method first we authenticate the user and if we are able to sign in in google play services this line of code will run else this line of code will run and to show leaderboard i have created on show leaderboard method to show a specific leaderboard we have to provide that leaderboard id inside this i have create add score to leaderboard method so that we can provide the score to the leaderboard and inside this first we will check if we are logging in google play services or not and if we are sign in in google play services then we will provide the point to the leaderboard and if we are able to add the score to the leaderboard this line of code will run else this will run to show the achievement i have created a reward achieve method inside this you have to provide the achievement id and the point which you want to add i have also created a more point method this will increase the point which we will provide to the leaderboard and to log out from the google play services i have created a on logout method now let's go to unity i will create an empty game object i will create few button inside this now i will create an empty game object i will drag and drop the gpgs script inside the point text i will drag and drop the text and for the leaderboard and achievement i will go on window google play services setup and we have to copy this string after the leaderboard and paste it in the leaderboard field and for the achievement i will select and copy the achievement string and paste it inside the achievement field and now let's quickly go to the method and assign different function to that now we have to assign different method to these buttons login will call the login method leaderboard will call the leaderboard method achievement will call the achievement method and add point will call the more point method i will create one more button this will add the score to the leaderboard and i will click on build and run now let's open this game on my phone and see if all the thing is working or not i am able to sign in in google play services and i am able to see the leaderboard in the next video we will learn how to integrate artmob in this game and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to see more game related content see you in the next video